Welcome back to my Let's Play. This is AJ Hammy uh, doing a Let's Play of Bioshock 1. This is episode 2, and uh, I adjusted the level some as far as sound goes because I noticed in the first video that it was a little bit too loud and kind of uh, went over my voice a little bit. So, um, hopefully this will be better. So, let's move on. Just found the wrench, the first uh, weapon you get in the game. Also the most basic. Now again, I am playing on I'm hard difficulty a level. Uh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Find out. The enemy seems to be a lot more durable. But hopefully I will be able to overcome the obstacles that are put before me. Alright. So we will head up the stairs here to get the first plasmid in the game, Electro Bolt. Injected by a very large needle. <laughs> really doesn't look like it feels good. Your genetic code is being Smooth. So it seems I am. This fish looks like he just had his cherry popped. Being inspected Wonder by some splicers here. Some Adam on Adam. Yeah. Let's park quick. You're a weak chopper. This little fish, I'm worth telling it. Daddy. Yellow! Always have been! You'll be no better off with Metal Daddy, little fish. See you floating. Some good looking folks down here. <laughs> I do say. And there's a big daddy. Lucky he did not step on me. Look, Mr. Bubbles, it's an angel! I can see light coming from his belly. Wait a minute. He's still breathing. It's all right. I know he'll be an angel soon. I don't want to be an angel. Why would I do that? You all right, boy? First time plasma is a real kick from a mule. But there's nothing like a fistful of lightning now, is there? So I guess the little sisters only collect from dead people. I assume that's why she let me live there, so that's a good thing. So Electro Bolt is the first plasma you get, as I stated earlier, and uh, it allows you to open doors that are malfunctioning, such as this one. So we'll go ahead and use it there to continue on. Plane debris seems to still be falling from the wreckage. Took its time getting down here. I'm just gonna move through here. Do not die. Okay. I feel a little bit better now. Oh, and I don't think I'm alone in here. What do we have? Nothing down here. Eve hypo, I'll take that. So I try to search as... Aww. Fluffy. Somebody lost their kitty. How sad. Ah, uh, there's my friend. Give him the combo. Zap him, then whack him. One-two punch. Remember, the one-two punch. So this one-two punch Atlas is talking about is using the electro bolt um, and a wrench swing to deal more damage to a splicer Don't that is electrocuted. Let's see how well it works. Did a decent bit of damage. I guess on a hard difficulty level though, it doesn't always finish them off instantly. Let's try it on this one. Luckily, 
I managed to take him out too. Did not take too much damage there, so that's a good thing. Let's scrounge the rest of this room, make sure we're not leaving anything behind. Um, I try to be as thorough as I can with looting, just so I don't pass up any items, especially on this difficulty level. Tell, tell and Ryan, I'm sorry. No, I won't do it again. No. I'll probably need everything I can possibly find. So. Leave me alone! Don't do it! This guy is on fire. I'm gonna try to use my wrench as much as possible. Uh, well, one, because it's the only weapon I have right now. But later on, when I do get guns, uh, just to conserve ammo, especially again on this difficulty level. Listen, I've got a family. I need to get them out of here. But the splicers have cut me off from them. If you can reach them in Neptune's bounty, then maybe, just maybe... I know you must feel like the unluckiest man in the world right now, but you're the only hope I'll ever see my wife and child again. Go to Neptune's bounty. Find my family, please. Such a touching story. I will do my best for you, Alice. Let's see who's singing over here. We'll be there to sing this song. Hush now. Mommy's gone. And Daddy too. Oh my. Wait. That's so that touchy. Plasma's changed everything. That'll teach you to sing to a robot. destroyed our bodies, our minds. We couldn't handle it. Best friends butchering one another. Babies strangled in cribs. The whole city went to hell. Alright, let's see what else we can find in here. So now I have my first gun. Only six rounds in it though, so again, I'll have to be very conservative with its use. I'll do what I want! It's my Adam! I earned it! You want this, Buckley? Oh, you want this, Christ? Open the damn door! Domestic dispute going on downstairs, it would seem. Give me my Adam! This is our hut! Me! Nice butterfly Brenda. mask here. Very, very becoming. Oh. Oh. Golly. Oh! Uh -huh. Got a gun. You know, for someone who was just fighting with her husband, she uh, would be pretty upset about his death. a little bit more ammo than I wanted to there, but it is what it is. Let's see if I can find any useful items down here. Journal. Another New Year's. Another night alone. I'm out and you're stuck in Festus. Working. Huh. Imagine. I'll have another drink. <laughs> Here's a toast to die. You do that. Have another Silliest drink. girl in Rapture. Silly enough to fall in love with Andrew Ryan. Silly. Silly indeed. What, what happens? I'm, I'm, I'm bleeding. Ryan doesn't oh, seem God. to be a very popular guy. Journals kind of serve the purpose of uh, kind of giving you backstory on why Rapture looks like it does right now. So I will try to find as many of them as I can and uh, let them play uninterrupted. I can't make any promises though, uh, but I will do my best. 
If you spot a splicer in the water, hit him with the electro bolt. Again, this is one of the nice synergies with this electro bolt is uh, electricity and water. Go figure. It allows you to basically get a one-shot kill on a lot of the enemies that you'll fight in this game. Uh, well, most of the displacers, the lower level ones. Uh, I don't know if it works on the tougher ones, however, so uh, we have yet to see. Either way, very useful strategy. So I believe I found everything that I can find down here, so we'll... You, oh. you oh. my baby! Don't run away from me! Okay. There's a lot of angry people down here. We'll continue on. Oh. Like a little sister is just peeking at me. The little sisters uh, will generally crawl through these areas here. And they will also retreat into them if I uh, if I remember correctly. Too spliced up. If you allow them. Too spliced up. But nobody's gonna want me. Oh, what a shame! I feel bad for you, honestly. Whoops. Oh my! I just want to look at the corpse. And I can't pick up any more first aid kits. All right. Pick up this journal here. Hey, Brenda. You care to tell me why you've had a hole in the wall the size of one of the rocks coming out of your crapper going on three weeks now? Now, I ain't saying I'm Shakespeare, I'm trying to run a respectable theater. I got working folk coming in from Fort Neptune trying to catch a no, little diversion. And all they can think about is the stink coming out of your shitter. Get it fixed. <laughs> Malfunctioning shitters. I don't think anybody likes those. I know I don't. We will go through this set hole in wall though and uh, see what we can find. Careful now. Would you kindly lower that weapon for a minute? Do you think that's a child down there? Don't be fooled. She's a little sister now. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. Whatever you thought about right and wrong on the surface. Well, that don't count for much down in Rapture. Creepy little children. Those little sisters, they carry Adam. The genetic material that keeps the wheels of Rapture turning. Everybody wants us, everybody needs us. After seeing that, I'm uh, pretty glad that that one let me live earlier. And what do we have here? I don't really think she's undefended, though. Oh, So later on when you fight the Big Daddy, uh, they generally go pretty much as well for you as it did for this poor sap right here. They're not fun to fight, and I don't imagine they will be very fun to fight on hard difficulty level, since I have the big daddy. never played on that before. He keeps her safe. We will see, though. And they just exited through that door, and they're gone. Magically, they must have hauled ass somewhere. Not that I really wanted to fight them. Still find it kind of funny though. So let's search around for what we can here. Uh, I am going to try to keep these let's plays probably between 20 to 30 minutes if I can. Uh, I have not kept track of how long this one has been going on for, so it will probably be ending relatively soon. Square. But Animals I will let you know when that occurs. The darling is at you! Ah! 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 Items to grab. I see. Yeah, okay. 
Let's go ahead and electrocute those two folks down there. Because they are in water. So I'm careful in stepping it myself. So that's what happens when you uh, drink alcohol in this game, and you recover quite quickly from it, apparently. If only it worked that way in real life. Alright, first aid kit. Let's go ahead and use one so I can pick that up and not waste it. One shot. Let's see if we have any more takers. I believe I will. Got to do that explosion upstairs. And here they come. So that's kind of just a good example of. Uh, why using the environment along with the plasma is very helpful there. Um, but just using two electrical bursts, I managed to kill six enemies, which otherwise probably would have caused a lot of health damage. Um, and yeah, just would not have gone as well. So any time you can use the environment like that, it's definitely a good idea to do so. So we will head this way. I was told to go this way, and it's probably where I need to go to. And we'll head through this door here. Uh, we won't. Oh Christ! You're trapped. I'm gonna try to override the exit from here. Atlas, Atlas is pretty dramatic. So tell me, friend, which one of the bitches sent you, the KGB wolf? with a CIA jackal. Here's the news. Rapture isn't some sunken ship for you to plunder. And Anne Ryan isn't a giddy socialite who can be slapped around by government muscle. And with that, farewell. Or, bas la Farewell indeed, Ryan. Farewell. The tour opens up. There we go. And into the medical pavilion we go. Uh, so at this point, I will probably go ahead and close off the second Let's Play. Again, just to keep these in manageable chunks. Uh, there's a little bit more gameplay in this one, so that's good. Now you've uh, met Andrew Ryan. Now find your way to emergency access. So as I was saying, um, we're getting more into the game now. Hopefully won't be as many cutscenes, uh, and we'll have more uninterrupted gameplay. And I hope you're enjoying, uh, and I'll see you for the third episode. See you then.